All right, let's get this show on the road. Good morning, everybody. Old Man Rebel coming at you from Buckeye, Arizona. Welcome aboard. Cold Waters with the Epic Mod version 2.44. So, folks, yesterday we tried to do a two-part stream with the uh, Akula one. And because it was just going to take way too long to do it for the time I had to do it. And when I went back to watch the first st part of that stream, it was all screwed up. I don't know what was going on. The video was glitchy and all that stuff. I don't know if that's what you guys saw. But I said, uh-uh, delete that. Let's try this again. So we are back in cold waters. Take two on the Akula 1. Flight 1. Block 1. Whatever you want to call it. Two types of Akulas in the game. Akula 1 and Akula 2. So, Alright, let's get to it. Single mission. The Duel, 1984. I, I really just want to hit something with a damn torpedo, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not having the best of luck, guys, with these Russian early torpedoes, but we're going to keep trying. We're going to keep trying. Okay. We've already done the Whiskey. We've already done the Foxtrot. We've done the Romeo. The Juliet. Golf. Kilo. Tango. Tad love that Tango. November class, noisy as hell. Victor 1, Alpha, Alpha, Block 1, Block 2, Victor 2 series, and the Victor 3. We also did the Mike and the Sierra. Now we're back to the Akula one. Alright, so. Folks, we already went over the stats. Everybody knows the stats in-game with the Akula. Right? We know the sensors. We went over the notes. I will say this, though. Did you know when, uh, was it Melkite? That was the design bureau who designed the first Akula. It was, a, it's double hull submarine. But the first, uh, first ever made Akula that they launched was made out of titanium. It was all titanium, and then they went to steel. It was cheaper. But, uh, that's an interesting little fact. But, uh, I think there was eight of them. Eight or nine of these built. And I believe one or two are still in service with the, with the Russian Navy, the Russian Federation, not the Soviet Union no more. I could be wrong on that. We have to double check my facts on that. But anyway, let's go. So hopefully I can hit something with a torpedo. <laughs> okay, we're taking out a Kula. K284. Okay, let's try this. Maybe we'll get lucky this time. Okay, west of Gilberter, rain, fog, and high wind. Ooh, that's surface conditions. We have a new sonar contact bearing 223, designate contact Sierra 1. I'm at 81 feet. Our heading is 184 degrees. Our speed is 5 knots. No surface duct, no thermal layer. God help us. Seabull Rebel can uh, bag a kill with the Akula. <laughs> Okay, let's check surface first. I want to see surface uh, conditions. I really, do, I really do love this ship. I'm just not really good at it. I've been watching some videos on YouTube with some of the fellow gamers that play uh, Cold Waters and Still trying to learn how to get these torpedoes to uh, to hit their target, man. I mean, we're rocking the U set 80s. These are not the U set 80Ks, so they're not wired guys. Alright, uh, right, let's take a look on the surface. I want to see what's up. Put the eyeball up. Okay. Yeah, well, it looks like we're going to broach. That's nasty on that surface. Oh yeah, we're broaching. We're broaching. Okay, so last time we did this, apparently there was a trawler, but he was out of range of my radar. And we didn't pick him up on the surface, so... So we're just gonna scan ourselves. Let's take a look around. Start at zero and we'll work our way. Hope everybody's having a good week so far. Nice uh, 
nice smooth night in the DC. Got some stuff done in the office, and then headed off to the truck gate to uh, take care of business out there. Man, I'll tell you what, though. I, some of these truck drivers, I love them to death. I really do. I respect what they do every day. It's a tough job. You know, especially if you have a wife and family at home and you're on the road all the time. I get it, being an OTR, but man, holy crap. Some of these guys who drive these trucks, you just scratch your head and you're like, how did you even get a CDL, man? I don't get it. But Ain't trying to be disrespectful. Just, you know, it is what it is. It's life. All right, check on the surface. 150 degrees, nothing. Man, it's choppy out there. High winds. Oh, I can't even get the scope to look. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. I'm not seeing anything. We're not picking anything up on radar. I need to know what the range of that radar is. Alright, we'll come. Whoa, did I see something? Nope. We'll come back to zero. Let me look, let me look, let me look. Ah! Man, it's choppy. It really throws off your, uh, your view here. Alright, well, for the moment, s surface appears clear of contacts. Alright, radar's not picking up nothing. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah, it's a little choppy out there. Alright. Yeah, we're broaching. See that? That's called a broach. The sail comes out of the water. Alright, let's get the hell off the surface. Okay, we don't know where that last contact was, so. Let's drop down to 350 feet. Change some course here. Coming, I'm gonna bring your uh I'm gonna go two seven zero. So let's bring this old girl down to three five zero feet. We'll come to a heading of two seven zero degrees. Speed is five knots currently. Let's change out some weapons. Let's get our decoys ready to go. I'll load up two of the uh, MG-74s. Yeah, I was really, really hoping to do a two-part series of this stream, but like I said, I tried the first, and it just, it was garbage. I don't know if it was streaming bad or it saved to my hard drive really bad. I don't know what happened with it, so it was definitely not high quality. So we got rid of that. So we'll try again. Alright, two six loaded. Okay, coming down to three three zero. Okay. Three four zero feet. Probably gonna overshoot it just a little bit. So I got 16 of the U-Set 80s. We have 14 in the racks right now. We're rocking the 6576 wake homing torpedoes. That ain't gonna do me a lick of good. We got the Shkivels, or the Skittles as I like to call them. They are nuclear capable, they got nuclear warheads. And we're rocking two of the uh, SSN 16s. Ooh, we also got SSN 21 Samson's cruise missiles. But these are land attack, that's not gonna be anti-ship. Well, so the USAT 80s are 5, 533 millimeter, and everything else is 650 millimeter. That's, that's what's weird about the Akula. You had four tubes of uh, a certain diameter, and then four more tubes that were bigger, bigger weapons. Right, damage controls, check the ship, everything's good. I'm gonna go ahead and put out that toad array. 
Товарищ командир, произвожу выпуск антенны КПВ. Let's start listening. Let's see if we can find something. There we go. Con sonar, new contact bearing 234. Doesn't it contact Sierra 1? 234, huh? Okay, well, where are we at? There you are. Everybody's cool, we all happy? Alright, rig the ship for ultra quiet. Let's go find this guy. Okay, who are you, sweetheart? Are we a sub? Start going through the stack now. If you're new to cold waters, if you look at this display, the top one is the sound signature that is stored in your sonar system. The bottom stack is the real live sound coming through my primary sonar and my toad array. So, if you're in just in case anybody's wondering if you, why you got this little matrix looking, you know, little waterfall going on. So, heads up on that. I've gotten that question before. Uh, let's keep going through this stack here. We got a speed. Yeah, he's doing 12 knots. Relative bearing to me is 235 degrees, 19,700 yards. Possible Rubus attack submarine. We're not going to know until we get a little bit closer. Yeah, he's coming. Yeah. I'm not, uh, I'm not confident to lock him up yet. Let's let Sonar chew on it a little bit and see what we get. Man, I love the Akula. Isn't that a beautiful looking submarine? Mean looking. Mean, mean, mean. I have one question, you know, a guy asked me, do you like your, uh, playing the Victor 3 or do you like the Akulas? And I'm like, ooh, that's a tough question, man. That'd be like, hey Rebel, you want a Cooler's original? Or do you want, uh, an 805? And it'd be like, ooh, I don't know, boys. <laughs> They're both good. <laughs> well, let's see what this old girl can do. I think we got a Rubus. Sonar solution, 52%. Range of target, 18,500 yards. Speed, 12 knots. Bearing, 236 degrees. 237 degrees. Is he leaving? I'm watching my numbers right here. What do you guys think? You think we're looking at a Rubus? Nice and slow, boys. Nice and quiet, lads. Or I should say comrades, not lads. We're not playing naval action. Ivan, put the vodka down. Shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna find this guy. Come on. Gotta have some fun. I don't know, man. It's looking like a Rubus. 58. 17,800 yards in closing. No course. Relative bearing to me is 237 degrees. I wonder if he's going to hold on that. We are at course 270, speed 5 knots, depth 350 feet. We're rigged for ultra running. And we got that toad array out. There he comes. Oh, he's coming right at me. Oh, you guys see that? He's coming that way. What's his depth? Do I got a depth yet? Number one of submarine combat. The one first seen is the one who dies. So I'm hoping he doesn't hear me. <laughs> I don't want to die yet. I think we're looking at a Rubus. 17,000 yards in closing. Solution 65%. 
Still holding speed 12 knots, I now have a course. Sierra 1 course is 0, 020 0 degrees, relative bearing to be 238. Come on, boys, lock them up. Fairly confident that's a Rubus, but. 16,600 yards. Sixteen thousand five hundred yards. Sixteen thousand four hundred yards. Yeah, he's coming like a freight train, boys and girls. A bit closer. Let's, yeah, let's zoom in on this guy. Here we go. Sixteen thousand two hundred yards. Still holding course zero two zero. Bearing aspect ratio is changing. He's now at relative bearing two three nine degrees. Course still holding zero two zero. Twelve knots. Fifteen thousand. Oh man. I hope I hit this guy. Let's get him. Let's at least try. I'm gonna keep screaming the Akula one every morning until I get a kill. Just saying. Alright boys, get ready. Really good job on the uh, graphics. I know I say that a lot, but man, they did a good job. Really good job on the detail. Looking good. 15,400 yards, bearing 240, course 016. Is he going away? Yes, he is. He's turning. So this guy is going to be off my, yeah, my port valve right over here. He's out in this area right here, somewhere over there. Got him. Copy that, boys. What's his depth? Okay. Well, maybe we'll get lucky. Are we in range for us? Weapons hit. Let's see. 2122. You said 80s? He's gonna go that way. Now, from what everybody's been telling me, you don't arm, you don't put your torpedoes endpoint on the blue dot. These torpedoes that you said 80s need time to arm. So I am going to put him forward. Let's go forward. Eh, a little shallow. All right. Fire tube one. Fire tube two. See if that gets his attention. I never, I never understood that with these early Russian torpedoes. I thought you just put it right on the, the aimer, and the torpedo would go right at it. But I didn't understand that these are not wire guided. You can't, dr you can't drive them, and they need a certain uh, enable running time before they can enable and start searching. So hopefully, I did that right. So let's let those run, and we are going to drop our depth. Torpedo evasion. I'm going to go to 750 feet. And then, I always recommend changing course just a little bit. You don't want to be on the same bearing that you fired your weapons at, because once he hears them, he can triangulate where you are better lack of terms, and he can fire right back at you. We'll come to course, 230 degrees. Now, he hasn't fired weapons yet, so we don't have to go balls to the wall. I want to try to stay nice and quiet. We're not going to load anything. I want to see if these fish pop them. Yeah, let's get down there. 540. I 
Five sixty. Come on, Akula, get down there. Five eighty. Six hundred. I know I can out dive him too. And I think he's rocking those uh, F ones or whatever. What uh, what weapons does he have again? Oh, he's got those F seventeens, those Foxtrot seventeens, those things. It's like a British version of the Mark Forty Eight. He doesn't hear him yet. Let's take a look at him. Oh yeah, that's a Rubus. Yep, he's just cruising along. Not a care in the world. Surely he's got to hear these torpedoes. Okay, so 750 feet. We're steady course 230. So we fired these guys a little short. Now remember, we were up here, so they should enable. At least I'm hoping. Where's my other one? Zoom out. There we are. Fish one and fish two. Okay. Please, Lord Trident, let my fish lock up on the sky. We have to go in wide. I'm, I'm anticipating that you turn in, turn away. He's in a. Yep, there he goes. Yep, there he goes. You he heard him. Alright, they're searching. All right, we activated on tube one. Hopefully he doesn't go too deep. Yeah, he's dropping down. All right, they're searching now. It looks like a good intercept, but he's going deep. I don't think they can, yeah, he ain't stupid. Look at him go. He's like, oh, shit. Now he's going to do what I call the yo-yo. He's going to go up and down. Oh, that'll work out fine for tube number two. He had not turned away. Let's see if he locked. Oh, God, he's right there. He's right there. Turn. Uh-oh. Is he turning? Oh, man. I'm gonna miss him. Damn it. Now, he's pinging away, but he ain't got me. Oh. What do I gotta do? Fire all 14 of these fish at this guy? <laughs> Full spread. Okay, I think I just learned something. They're supposed to go zigzagging, but they didn't. All right, so we missed him. That sucked. 7,100 yards. Guess we'll try again. Load them up, boys. We got plenty of weapons. We load some other fun stuff too. How about we'll have to get closer to the surface to use the uh, SSN 16 stallions? But yeah, you know what I think? They didn't start searching. I thought they were supposed to search. Son of a beep! That was a miss. They're just trying to figure out their lives now. Oh well, we tried. Reload, boys. Man, 6,900 yards. He's still too close. He slowed down, though. He's getting smart. I haven't picked up a launch transit yet. 
Oh, now he's, you know what he's doing? He's rubbing it in my face. He's like, ah, stupid, you missed me. I'm just gonna go slow now, make some lazy turns, ping away. It's okay, I got something for you. If I can get him to go back to the surface. Yeah, 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 yeah. He ping away all you want. Now he's doing 12 knots again. He's pinging. Damn you, Rubus. Well, he's close. I might have to get aggressive and just run this dude down. He's close. Maybe I can get behind him. And just launch everything I got at him. His depth is at 400 feet. I'll come up to 400 feet. this again. I'm gonna fire up. I'll fire two more, and if they don't track on them, then I'm just gonna go balls to the wall and just go charge them. We'll do something. We'll figure it out. Let's see if he launches. No launch transit. He's really close. And he's doing five knots again. Yeah, we'll come up nice and slow. Right to his starboard. I wish there was a way I could, like, go into the weapons and just, like, disable the, uh, the runtime for them and just activate them immediately. <laughs> okay, now he's doing 11 knots. Now he's gonna turn at me. So... A bit closer. Let me try it this way, guys. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm about to launch a decoy, too. We'll have to haul some button a minute. We're that close, we can spit at each other. Alright. Do one. Launch short. Screw it. I want to try this. Try that. Shoot them halfway. Maybe they'll track on them. All right, let's see what happens with this. Let's turn the boat. So I, yeah, we went wide on those. I want to see if they have a better chance of maybe locking up. I think those are a little too close when they activated, so these are halfway to him. I want to see what that does. One way or the other, I'm going to get this guy. Weapons. 14 left. Come on, guys. We're going to die 400 feet. Quiet. Let's see if these guys have better luck. They're going wide on them. 12 knots. Steady course, 262. Oh, okay, maybe they'll activate now. Uh, noisemaker. Yep, 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 yep. Uh-oh. Holy crap, did I do this right? 
He's gonna do 15 knots. Don't fall for the noisemaker, Bubba. What's his depth? He's ho- uh, Ow! Fucking diving again, excuse my French. Please, Lord! Everybody pray with me, come on. Don't go, don't you go for that. Okay. I'm gonna go chase this guy down. I might get lucky. These torpedoes might, uh, grab him. Uh-oh. Don't go for the noisemaker. Don't go for the noisemaker. Oh, 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 oh. All right, tube one is coming behind him. Tube two. Oh, I can't see him. Oh, there he is. He might go for him. Oh, he's going for the noisemaker. Damn. I, unless he turns on him. Ain't over yet. Okay, he's going to go for the noisemaker, but he may... Yep. chase this guy down. I'm sick of this crap. I'm gonna try to get it right on his baffles. While we're doing that. Alright, so this guy, yeah, he's searching. Oh. Alright, steady course 308, speed 33 knots. We are flank bell, depth 1,300 feet. I still got him because he's pinging. Close that range, baby. I don't want to get too close to my fish. I want to get right behind him. The hell with his toad array. Come on. Thirty three knots. All right, let's go all stop. I just want to drift for a minute. I don't want him hearing me. Oh, stop, guys. Oh, we are so close to each other. Range, 2,000 yards. Mm-hmm. 
Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Oh, he's coming like a freight train. 12 knots. Range of target. 2,100 yards. I don't know if this is going to work, boys. If he launches this close, I am screwed. We're too deep to launch. He may go right above me. 1,800 yards. There he is. Sorry about the flickering, guys, but it's just a dam. He's right above me. Be a hole in the water, boys. coming right at me. Range of Sierra 1, 1,500 yards. He's going to go right above me. Or below. Yep, above me. My bad. Now he's turning. Wait. Shh. Everybody be quiet on the boat. at, bud. There he is. I don't know why it flickers like that, guys. I apologize. He's right there. He's right there. 1,200 yards. He's still doing 12 knots. He can't hear me. Please don't launch at me. Please don't launch at me. Please, God, don't let him launch at me. We're playing peekaboo. There he is. He's right there. Oh, God, go above me. Go above me. Oh, there's my boat. Oh, please, God, say a prayer to me, please. God, 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 please. Baka, God, Baka, God, do not let him shoot. Do not let him shoot. Holy shit, I've never seen this happen. <laughs> oh, God, help us. Stay quiet, Akula. Stay quiet. Are y'all seeing this? Wow. Where'd he go? Oh, he's right in front of me. There he is. He's right there. See him? That's cool. Boys, I think we just escaped sudden death. Nice and quiet, sweetheart. Nice and quiet. Yep. We lost contact, but we know he's still visual, which wouldn't be realistic, but... We know who he is. So I want him to move. Keep going above me, Bubba. Stay quiet, boys. Don't even fire up. Keep moving, baby. You, uh, there's nothing to see here. Move on. It's magma displacement. It's an undersea anomaly. Go ahead. 
Keep going. Not yet, boys. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Watch him. Stay at silent running. One knot. There we go. One knot. Let's move the boat. Is he turning? Yes, he is. I'll stop. Wait, 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 wait. I'll stop. I'll stop. He's come back around. Hold on. I didn't see no depth charges. No, he ain't dropping. They, they ain't got depth charges on these. That would suck if he did. I'd be deader than... Okay, he's coming around. I have to watch him in the third person because I can't pick him up on sonar. Oh, return to your normal course. He's looking. Contact reestablished. All right, bearing one one five degrees. He's definitely checking me out. He he knows I'm here, but he can't pinpoint it. So it looks like. I don't want to move. We're not going to move yet. He's definitely searching. He's going in a circle. Yep, that's exactly what he's doing. We're all stopped. Nice and quiet, boys. Surely his sonar, his actives. Yeah, he's hitting me. Maybe he's way... Yeah, he's 600 yards. He's way too close for weapons. Okay, okay. Let's... Yep, let's let him... Let's see what he's going to do. Is he going to continue his circle, or is he going to go that way? Okay, we're going to get ready. We're going to have to move on this guy fast. Going. Oh, we lost him again. I don't have my total rail. So the reason we keep losing him is because I'm only picking him up with the bow sonar. I can't have the total ray out because I'm at a dead stop. It won't let me drop it. Okay, so he's going to come back. One knot. Nice and quiet. I'm gonna turn. Oh, boys, I think I put myself in a trap because he knows I'm here. The minute I pop up and try to do something, which way are you going, bud? We're gonna turn the boat. Okay, so we know he's above us. Yeah, what does it turn that boat nice and slow? Nice and slow. I'm deep. I'm at 1,300 feet. So he's probably, he's looking around like, yeah, he's going above me again. I know, brother. It is strange tactics. I think. It's like he knows something's there. He can't quite pick it up. Or or he does know who I am, the AI. But he's too close for weapons, so he can't fire. 
So I'm kind of wondering, I might have to be careful here. Okay, one knot. I can deploy the toad array at three knots, but I'm, a, I'm worried he's gonna pick me up. He's very close. Let's try this. Two knots. Come on, Akula, you're quiet, girl. Where'd he go? Still above me? Yep, there he's son of a bitch, he's right there. <laughs> he's, he's a stern. He's a he's a, a stern of me. Yep, he's turning that way. Oh man. Okay, here's what we'll do. Let's come the course three zero eight degrees. I want to see if he's following me. Can I can I do the toad array? Alright, can I do the toad array at two knots? Sometimes you can't. Sometimes the game will bring it back in because it's unsafe conditions. Let's put out that toad array, see if I can hear him. Okay, okay, okay. So we picked him back up. Gosh. He's definitely searching. He's definitely searching. Okay, so I'm going to move away from him on a course of... What did I say? 308? I think I put myself in a trap, boys. I don't want to open that range too much. Range zero. He's 500 yards. He's 500 yards. Let's see if I can get away from this guy. I don't think I'm going to be able to. You know what we're going to have to do? We're going to go active. We're going to go to full battle stations. I'm just going to have to... I'm going to have to come up fast and hit him. Alright, we're going to retract that toad array. Oh, man. This is going to suck. I got to try to get away from this guy. Okay, toad array's in. We're going active. Full speed, get out of here. I gotta try to break this death circle, see if I can get the range up. I know where you are, bud. Uh, I'm gonna come up to 600 feet. I'm gonna see if he fires at me. He's probably gonna fire. I'm gonna come back on my core. Zero three nine. See if I can pop this guy. Come up, come up, come up, come up, come up. Got him. You're mine. Come here. Ah, there I am. I'm coming for you, Bubba. I know one sure way to kill a submarine. Crazy Ivan. <laughs> Crazy Ivan. Come here, sweetheart. Oh! Really, bro? 
No death. Oh! <laughs> Emergency blow the ship. Oh, God. That's crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. Are you serious? No damage to my boat. Oh, whatever. <laughs> well, it's not showing any damage, but I guess the game does account for, uh, I guess the game accounts for collision. <laughs> God have mercy. Ivan, get out there and check the sail in the back. <laughs> uh, is collision off? I don't know. Let me see. Let me uh, let me back out of the game here. Let me see. Go to op no, I don't think it is. Options. Event camera. Video. Color, ambient shadows, V Sync. Epic mod, dynamic. Uh, no. Developer mode. I don't think there is, man. Uh, I'm just going, we're just looking, looking, unless I'm not seeing something. No, controls. That nah, wouldn't be controls. Select aircraft. Nope, this is just controls. Game, it would be under game options. Tooltips, metric system, hide. Yep, well that's what it was. I went right through that guy, but somehow I killed him. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> well, a victory's a victory. <laughs> God have mercy. That was crazy. Yep. 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 What, now he's like, not sinking? It'd be like totally cool if he was like all like busted up right here, like major flooding, but nah, the, uh, the game just doesn't do it, guys. Too bad. Too bad. Yep, this, this Akula would be sunk too. This all would be busted up. That sail would have been probably sheared off with that collision. Uh, that is the first time bringing you guys these cold action, or cold waters, cold action, naval action, I got that in my brain too, cold water stream. First time bringing you guys these cold waters uh, streams with the epic mod that I actually hit another submarine. I was really hoping for something better, but hey, it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. We'll do a uh, we'll do a part two stream on this one because that was good, man. And we'll try to. I'm getting better with those torpedoes, so maybe we'll get lucky this time uh, on the on the next stream. Don't want to give up on the Akula one yet. And that was a first. Maybe that's happened to you guys playing this game, but that was a first for me when trying to do that tactic and he just kept circling above me. And he, uh, that was nuts. I've never. I didn't think that was gonna work. I thought I was gonna be dead. Yeah, too bad, man. I don't see anything in options for uh, collisions or anything. Maybe it's because I have the difficulty on easy. Maybe if I crank it all the way up, maybe then it does. I don't know. I'll look. On, I'll look into it. That was crazy. Let's get out of combat. Leave combat. <laughs> well, at least I got the bastard. <laughs> 
man, open it. Uh, yeah, oh yeah. I'll be making it, brother. I'll be making it. I'll be bringing it up uh, Friday morning. Friday morning submarines of Old Man Rebel. Oh, that was cool. Ooh, the Nautilus. Check that out. New York. All right, folks. Well, that's going to do it for this stream. Thanks for tagging along of Old Man Rebel on Thursday morning for some uh, cold waters with the Epic mod. Uh, if you guys are interested in the game, if you're first time watching this, please download it. You can get it on Steam. It's really cheap now. It's made by Killerfish. Unfortunately, the game is not. It's been discontinued. They don't do anything with it anymore. So you got Cold Waters Epic Mod and Dot Mod coming in with mods to the game to help it, you know, come along and be more enjoyable to play. As always, folks, everybody uh, take care of one another. Stay safe. Look after one another. Feel free to uh, subscribe, comment. I try to answer all your comments as best I can. And uh, thanks for watching and thank your support. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace out. I'll talk to you.